So, hello, 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 and a very good evening to everybody. I am super excited. I'm super pumped for today's webinar because as every single night we have a special guest and today's guest is super special and i would love to introduce him to you i mean even if most of you know who is here in the call let me quickly tell you a story when i met him the first time it was in munich and it was 2015 he didn't even know that we were yet become to uh, great in jeunesse but we knew that jeunesse is great so he was on stage and he shared his vision he was literally the first speaker we, we've ever seen from jeunesse and i remember one sentence he said he said right now we're doing 540 million in turnover that was 2015 and then he said and this year we will be the first company ever hitting the one billion dollar mark and Danny and me we looked at each other and we said we better go with this company because if that is true, <laughs> we have to be with them. So he's the chief visionary officer of Jeunesse. I'm super excited to have him here. Scott Lewis, thanks for tuning uh, yeah, in tonight. Good to see you, brother. It's an honor to be on this Team Unity Global call and to connect with all of you there in Germany. What an exciting time to be a part of Jeunesse. Everybody is uh, super excited to have you here, which is uh, like a super honor because it's the second time that we have the possibility to see you actually in, in a call, which never happened before and just shows how passionate you are about the teams and to support everyone. I uh, reached out to the teams and I asked the teams, guys, you have the chance now to send a few questions in. What's the most important thing? What you guys want to know? And guess what? One of the most favorite questions was, can Scott please tell something about his childhood? <laughs> because he's always on stage telling the stories, how he's built the company, but he grew up in network marketing. Like, how was it to grow up in the industry? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, thanks for having me. Second time uh, in just a few few days here. It's, a, it's an honor to be on the team call. Uh, when I look back on my childhood, um, you know, you know, we could all speak so long about our childhood memories, but, you know, I often, when you relate it directly to network marketing, I mean, first thing I can say is that I was raised by a serial entrepreneur. My mom was a strong, independent woman. Uh, she and my father got divorced when I was eight years old, and she set out on a path to become a career woman, an independent woman, an entrepreneur, and uh, launched her first company with Randy. I guess it was about 1988 or 89. Um, but they, they actually took me to my first industry or network marketing event in 1990. In 1990, I was 10 years old, and they flew me up to Indianapolis, Indiana, Canseco Fieldhouse. It's a huge indoor arena, 30,000-person Amway convention. Uh, at the time, they were doing some, uh, a little, dabbling a little bit in distributorship uh, in Amway, uh, but I grew up around... You know, they were putting in computer systems for medical offices and all the medical physicians were getting involved in, in direct selling back in the early 90s. So I grew up with a lot of Amway, Avon, Melaleuca products around the house. Um, but they took me up to Conseco Fieldhouse and um, I got into that arena. I didn't really know what to expect. I think it was all more positioned as personal development, which it absolutely was. And I got to hear from Dexter Yeager, Zig Ziglar. I still remember we were upper, upper bold seats hearing Ziegler say, if you dream it, you can achieve it. And as a young 10 year old boy, um, you know, coming out of a divorced family, uh, it was really impactful. It was a profound moment for me uh, to, to have him say something like that. But something my mom and Randy always told me, you know, every, you know, basically every day was conceive, believe, achieve. If you can conceive something in your mind, you believe it with all your heart, you can achieve anything in life. And, um, you know, through the years, had the opportunity to help with um, my mom and Randy's company that was helping launch network marketing companies. So even as a teenager, summer jobs at our old building in Altamont Springs had the opportunity to work kind of back end uh, customer service um, operations, got to interact with a lot of company owners and executives and had a lot of mentors, I think, through those years that really got me to understand the power of network marketing. Um, yeah, there's things that happen in the office to kind of drive the engine and drive the, uh, the ship forward. And it's important to understand all those back end functionalities. Um, but for me to have the opportunity to travel, to get to attend these launch events when I was probably 18 years old, uh, 16 to 18 years old, 
uh, was so inspiring to me. It, it's something that got into my soul, into my spirit, to get to hear people share their success stories, to get to hear people in one room so unified in what they were passionate about. You know, you don't find that in many businesses or industries. Um, you know, you can train on a certain subject and maybe some people are into that, you're at a convention or something, but in network marketing, you bring together all this passion, all this enthusiasm, all this belief into one environment. And that energy is just something that got into my spirit. Um, so uh, went to obviously school, got my bachelor's degree, my master's degree. When I was getting my master's degree, uh, my mom and Randy pulled me into their first company. This was 2005. So I was 25 years old when I started, uh, I guess, full-time uh, corporate in network marketing. And um, you know, just been so blessed to, to learn so much from this industry, not just professionally, but personally, uh, how to be a better person, better steward, better um, contributor, I think, to, to society and humanity. And I believe that's the, the big picture power of network marketing. It's just, just quality products an opportunity it's allowing us to tap into some or allowing us to get involved in people's lives to allow them to see their potential to tap into it and maximize it and achieve their goals and live their dreams and i've been able to you know witness so much of that over the past whatever how many however many years i've been involved uh, but just to be around this industry it's 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 a constant learning process that's what i love about it you never have it all figured out uh, even on the corporate end, we don't have all the answers. We're not perfect. We're making mistakes. We're having challenges. But those challenges, those mistakes are making us so much stronger for the future. And, um, you know, as long as you learn from those mistakes, that's the, that's the important thing. But, um, you know, to be able to see what this industry stands for and to be able to lead Jeunesse, you know, with our hearts, that's the most important thing. We wanted to do things the right way. We want to serve others. We want to help other people achieve their goals and to live their dreams. And that's what inspires me every single day is the quality of the people that we get to work with and the culture of family that we've built with Jeunesse. What's, what's so amazing, usually you just said Zig Ziglar inspired you, right? Yep. And even though this, it's not a big stage now, but you always learn something when, when somebody is telling the story. And I, and I just had that moment again. When you said I was sitting up there in the back row <laughs> and now you're actually traveling the world leading a billion dollar brand and network marketing how crazy is that it's it's um, it's humbling and it's um, it's surreal for sure I remember before we launched Jeunesse the largest event I had ever spoken at was 2,000 people and 2,000 people just seem massive as far as you know, everyone paying attention to you. And many people don't know, but I, I definitely grew up, if you talk about my childhood, I was more of an introvert. I was, um, you know, more of a quiet guy. And um, you never would have suspected that I would be into public speaking. But I'd be, I feel like the platform has allowed me to develop myself so much, not just professionally, but personally as well. And I have to say, you, you're one of the best speakers I personally know. And I'm surrounded uh, with with many many good speakers but i think it's because you talk from your heart everything you say is what you really feel you don't have to make something up it's the story of the company you're sharing and uh, that's that's what everybody loves you know well, we live the story you know we, we've been living the story for 10 years so it, it's the only way i know how to speak about things is from the heart because when you're so passionate about something you want to share that passion with the world and what's what's super interesting, if you look back, and that's that's one of the things when I was writing down um, the the questions, I realized because we're right now in the in the recession and the crisis, right? And so Jeunesse was born during the last recession. I just realized that because it was two thousand eight, two thousand nine when everything started. So how big of a chance do you see right now having the next recession coming, and now having a, a company which is ready and not in the in the first in the first stages. Yeah, I mean, when I look back when we launched the company and during difficult economic times here in the US, it was really important. If you look at back at the fundamental strategies, we wanted somebody to be able to qualify their position for less than 100 US dollars during difficult economic times. You know, that still exists today. There's other companies that require a larger monthly qualifier to keep your volume and to keep engaged in the business. But that was a really important strategy for us at the time. You know, when I look at today's times, you know, it's interesting. I think um, we, we certainly didn't plan it that way to launch during a recession. It's just, 
you know, how things came together and we, we adapted accordingly. And I think it's times like now that you adapt accordingly as well. Uh, the, the amazing thing is the platform is so much more robust today, of course. You look at the digital and virtual technology, you look at the infrastructure that we have today. You know, it's funny when you look back then, I was uh, doing an interview yesterday actually, and I said, I remember coming out of the conference room and we had a logo, a website, two products, and a brochure. And we're ready to launch the company. We come from humble beginnings, but you look at the robust platform, all the award-winning world-class marketing tools. You look at the, the, the wide range and diversification of our product line, the aggressiveness of our promotions, the success stories that are happening around the world. I think it's times like now that I couldn't even begin to compare to 2009 because of the credibility that this brand has created over 10 years. I mean, the success stories are one thing, the awards, but I think that we are so well respected within the network marketing arena for a company in many ways that built our business based on technology. Our background was technology. And I think, you know, when we look at our competition, I know because I've interviewed executives from some of our competitors, you know, they look at Jeunesse as the most successful technology based network marketing company ever created. And I've heard that from multiple people in top 10 multi-billion dollar brands in this industry. So it's up to us to really leverage the credibility, leverage the success story when people have an open mind, when people during uncertain times are looking for certainty. You know, you look at what's happening for Germany or Italy or, you know, many markets in North America and all the success stories and excitement and momentum and growth and advancements that are happening right now, people want to be a part of that energy. People want to be connected during a time where they feel so disconnected. They feel so distant, you know. Um, it's hard to even watch the news anymore that people want to get away from that. They want to be involved in something bigger, something more impactful. And that's exactly what we offer with Jeunesse. I mean, we've created, you know, this perfect holistic approach to network marketing where we're hitting on every single fundamental to create a movement. And that's what we've created over 10 years. You're talking about product, opportunity, uh, company, brand, technology, cause with Jeunesse Kids, events, experiences, travel, lifestyle. We've encapsulated all of that into the movement that we call Jeunesse. So it's times like this when people have that open mind. They're looking for certainty and stability. They're looking for products that help them with nutrition and wellness and immunity. That it's our responsibility to get out there and bring hope to a hopeless world. A lot of people have lost hope. A lot of people don't know what to do. So let's bring hope to the people. Let's touch people's lives through the power of genetics. That's, that's what we feel right now. And in our opinion, it was never easier than right now building the Jeunesse business. It's literally before you had like, if you talk to 10 people, you maybe had one out of 10 understanding the concept. Now we're talking to business owners, to investors, to, to big entrepreneurs, and they're all open right now because they, they're looking for opportunities. What, how, how's the feeling like general worldwide? Is it like the same thing going on right now? Yeah, absolutely. Same thing in North America and the United States. I mean, the world is going digital. I mean, we all know that. But in today's world, the world is going more digital and virtual than ever. People are looking for home-based businesses. If they're stuck in their homes, if we're quarantined the way we are here in the United States, people need to support their families. There's people on furlough. There's people that have lost their jobs. There's small businesses that are not going to survive the next 90 to 120 days, even in network marketing. So it's our responsibility to reach out to those people, to get social with people that you never thought that you would be able to connect with because now their mind is wide open looking for opportunity, looking for a home-based business, looking for a way that they can leverage infrastructure in a global platform and share quality products with people that are already looking for quality products and maybe buying them elsewhere and uh, an opportunity that's obviously rewarding people top to bottom, you know, with our compensation plan and everything that's happened over the past 10 years. I mean, so exciting to see what happened in Europe uh, last, uh, last month, uh, multiple diamonds in qualification. Uh, I know that this is a big month making that triple diamond run, of course, for Team Unity Global. So I'm fully supportive of that. I want to see all of that come to fruition because I know it's a strong statement, not just for Jeunesse or, or, or for Europe, but for the industry. You know, there's not a lot of success stories maybe that we're hearing right now because a lot of small companies are struggling. 
But because of the robustness, the, just the magnitude of the platform that we've built, there, you know, we, we were built for moments like this. We've been able to adapt and shift so seamlessly virtually to supporting our business in 32 offices around the world, everyone working from home. The business is running smoother, more efficiently than ever. And at the same time, people are out there in the field, just like many of you on the call today, winning, taking advantage of promotions, taking advantage of new products, helping people advance to uh, advance in rank, building that strong team unity and culture that I know you guys have on the team there. Um, that's, you know, this is really the foundation. You know, I look at what happened last month and what's going to happen this month and really over the next 90 to 120 days, what you guys are doing is laying a foundation for the next 10 years. I really believe that uh, the first 10 years for us were fundamental foundational years to really establish the brand, the culture, really stay true to our identity. And I think we've done a good job of that. But really what you're doing over this not next 90 days is positioning yourself for the most successful run of your career and your life. Because over the next 10 years, when we hit that $2 billion mark, when we hit that $3 billion mark, think about how many lives you're going to be able to touch and how many success stories collectively we're able to create all around the world through Genes. We're talking about the di digitalization, is that the correct word? It's a hard word, word. for a German. <laughs> so about the digital world, what's so impressive because we are very well connected in the industry with many, many leaders. And what we heard from so many different uh, companies and teams, they all said, ah, it's so hard right now. Our support system doesn't work. Help desk is shut down because people are in quarantine. I was like, I didn't feel any difference. Like Genes is running so smooth. I mean, you, you just mentioned, but how did you do it? Was that like a planning of weeks or were you prepared for those situations? Well, I mean, obviously, even dating back to probably January when everything was happening um, in, in China, we were paying close attention. I can say that our IT, our IT team was, was ready for the moment to basically flip the switch, uh, prepare, preparing devices, preparing, preparing our platform, all the different functionality within our system. Everything was prepped weeks and weeks before we ever made the decision. So when we made the decision based on, you know, just listening to the news, watching uh, politics, et cetera, you react accordingly. And, you know, it's good to hear that because it's not just external. I'm glad you're feeling that. But even internally, I would say we haven't missed a beat either. We're communicating probably more than we would have at the office. Granted, we're not physically face to face. We're making sure that we're, we're doing video calls, we're doing our team uh, leadership calls, our director calls, everything is through Zoom, everything is with faces, we're connecting, we're operating at a very high level and morale, I, I would say that morale is at an all time high. It makes me wonder if we even need to go back to headquarters because everyone's feeling so good about how we're operating. Everyone's feeling so good about the success stories and the fact that, you know, Jeunesse is always gonna be a company that stands for what's right. You know, we're supporting our Jeunesse corporate family in all of these offices during difficult times. And they're grateful to have a role, grateful to contribute and grateful to serve our distributors around the world. What's, I mean, your, your vision is great. You have that uh, fancy title, Chief Visionary Officer, which is the only one in the world, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, but, but you are the man for the vision. So when you come on stage, we know now it, no, it's about the vision. And you already, you already mentioned, you said, okay, where we want to go to the 2 billion, the 3 billion, and one day we want to be the biggest company in the world. So what, what, what is the, the, the layout in years? Do you have something in mind already? I think the biggest thing for me is that the foundation is set. I feel so supremely confident in the culture that we have organically created over 10 years time. And I feel so supremely confident in the people. You know, people is everything in any business. You know, it goes before product, pay plan, any of the other P letter words we talk about. The quality of the people internally, externally, the quality of the leadership that we have in Jeunesse is, I mean, I have no doubt that we're destined to be the number one company in this industry. Um, you know, the other thing I would say is that you know, I think back on the last 10 years and, um, you know, all the experiences, the lifelong memories that we shared, I, I've been watching, you know, some of our uh, archives of videos and sometimes I'll play videos on these team calls and, and different calls or, or Zooms around the world. And it just, it sends chills up my spine to know the impact we're making in people's lives. Uh, if we made that much of a difference in 10 years, I can only imagine what we're going to do the next 10 years because of the foundation 
the foundational mm -hmm. leadership that's in place, the infrastructures in, in place. You know, for us, I think the most important thing to be able to live your vision and realize your vision is to keep your heart in the right place, to stay humble, to stay hungry, um, to stay passionate. And, you know, those are things that just come, they're, they're innate to us. They're, it's natural, it's organic to us because, you know, in many ways, Jeunesse is our baby, you know, from the very beginning, um, I knew this company was destined for greatness. I did not know that we would hit a billion dollars in our sixth year, I'll tell you that right now. But I knew that the company had all the makings to be one of the great legacy stories of network marketing. And for us to continue to lead with purpose, to continue to lead with our hearts in the right place, to serve others. I can tell you that when I wake up in the morning, you know, my purpose is so clear and the responsibility that not just myself, but that the entire team feels to support our distributors and leaders and customers around the world is a big deal because I can tell you that most companies in this, in I shouldn't say most, there are some companies in this industry that are just looking at the numbers. They're looking at the revenue, the EBITDA, you know, how profitable they are, you know, how can they be more profitable? But for us, it's so much deeper than that. It's the spirit of this culture. It's the heart and soul of Jeunesse. It's the responsibility and obligation we feel because of all of you, because of all of you on this team call, putting your trust in us. We do not take that lightly. We treat our credibility very seriously and we pride ourselves on doing things with integrity so that all of you, when you're putting your credibility on the line, when you're out there creating and sharing your Jeunesse story, that's your credibility. You don't take it lightly and we don't tr take that lightly either because you're putting your own credibility on the line to share Jeunesse with your friends, with your family, with new contacts. And for us, we just want to make sure to be able to support you at the highest level. I know for sure over the next 10 years, when I talk about those videos and experiences, it's just going to be on steroids. It's going to be a whole nother level of lifestyle that we're going to live. It's going to be a whole nother level or magnitude of the amount of lives we're going to be able to touch. I think about what we're going to be able to do through Jeunesse Kids. I want to continue to strengthen that as part of our culture of giving back, um, make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give to others. I believe that we're able to live such a purpose-driven, fulfilled life by giving back. And I think that's what continues to allow us to push towards our vision of being the number one company in this industry is having all of these fundamental uh, elements in place, but working so synergistically together. You can talk about it and you can say this is your strategy if you're starting a company, but you have to feel it. You have to create it, you know, organically. It can't be manufactured. And that's what's so special about Jeunesse. It's, um, there, wasn't, there wasn't really any recipe, you know. It's, uh, I believe there's some divine intervention. I believe that we're living our destiny. And I believe that through our mission, that unified mission that we all share to get out there and create positive impact in people's lives in the world, it's something that's going to carry us decade to decade, generation to generation. And Jeunesse is destined to be one of the great legacy companies of this industry. It's amazing because I can confirm every single word. I had the honor to travel the world with you already. I remember that uh, famous reef where we always uh, share when we were diving and we look at the corals at <laughs> Bora Bora. Oh that was the Take you back. <laughs> and, um, but one thing which is so amazing, and I have to say that to all the distributors watching here in the Zoom call, but also in our Facebook group, because we have two streams running right now, um, is that, um, that feeling that we are part of the company. And that's not normal. Because in network marketing, many times, and I had that in the past, it was like, here is corporate, here is the field. And it's more like, uh, so this is what we want, but this is what we need. Deal with what you got. And I remember when we started in Europe, one of the first questions was, what do you guys need? How can we help you to build a market? And we were blown away. So, so that, that connection, as you just said, is so amazing. And that will move us forward a thousand percent. Yeah. That's funny to me because that just comes so natural to us. It seems like simple logic. I'm a very analytical, pragmatic type of thinker. And that just seems like the logical way, but it's amazing that most American companies, they want to do things the American way. They believe because of the ego, I think in a lot of times that gets out of control. They think they have all the answers, but I think, you know, that's why staying humble and keeping your humility is so important because 
we're students of this industry. I still say that today. We've got so many companies that look up to the success of Jeunesse and, you know, five times, five consecutive billion dollar years, but we're still learning something every day. We are students of this industry. We learn from each other. We don't just learn from each other internally. We learn from the field leaders as well. You guys are the ones out there you know, sharing the story, the products, the opportunity, face-to-face, belly-to-belly every single day, maybe not belly-to-belly, virtually right now, but you guys are on the front lines and you know what the feedback is. You know what you're listening to people. You know what they're looking for. So we need to hear that feedback so that we can make sure that we gear our strategies to align with what you're hearing so you can be more impactful at delivering what, delivering what people are looking for as a rock-solid opportunity. We have uh, one last thing, and this is not a question. This is actually something the leaders asked me to tell you. Uh, is a big thank you for all the impact you had on their lives. I can tell it from the bottom of my heart. I'm six years now with Jeunesse, and our lives completely changed. But the whole organization, all those leaders, um, like new leaders, mid-sized leaders, up to, to, to the bigger level, we all have the same passion and vision. And we're all so thankful to having the opportunity. So uh, thank you very much. So guys, give a little bit of love here in the chat and also in, uh, in the Facebook group. So Scott still knows you guys are here. And um, Scott, just to wrap it up, one last message from you to all those distributors, because I can tell you one thing, all those guys here, they work harder than they've ever done in their lives. Some people even couldn't attend the call because they have webinars or calls going on right now. It is uh, crazy. So one message to those guys to keep them motivated. Let me just start by saying I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everyone's trust, belief, dedication, commitment, and passion right now. I'm inspired. Uh, I am so inspired to see what you guys are creating in Europe right now. It's absolutely so inspiring to see everybody out there winning and making a difference in people's lives and helping people achieve new ranks and new success. I'm just so grateful to, to be able to have such quality people within the Jeunesse family there in Europe. I think, you know, the most important thing for us right now is to really treat this as our responsibility, our responsibility to share Jeunesse with the world when people are looking for a plan B, people are looking for a better way, people are desperate to support their families. Um, you know, and people, it's difficult to think long-term. People are looking to make decisions for today that can protect their futures for tomorrow. Um, you know, I think, you know, what, what Tony Robbins said really rung true to me when he said conviction has a viral effect. That's so real. If you have, you need to build up your level of conviction to an all time new high, build up that belief, build up that vision bigger than it's ever been before. Because when you're out there sharing Jeunesse, the products, the platform, the opportunity, people can feel that conviction. They can feel that energy, that passion, that enthusiasm. And it's infectious, it's magnetic. People want to be a part of something exciting. People want to be a part of something bigger than themselves that's leaving a legacy in this world and, um, and have fun doing it at the same time. I love all of the, the European leaders. I mean, you guys, don't just work hard, you play hard. And every day is a blessing. I think every day we have to start with a heart full of gratitude and just know that I'm grateful for all of you. I believe wholeheartedly that our time is now to make a major run of momentum in Europe and finally take that next step of development that we're ready to make and finally make that first triple diamond in Europe as well. So, Everybody's uh, working on it. Thank you very much once again for your time. And uh, here's one sentence I always wanted to say, and this one is nowhere else more true than with the Jeunesse, which is see you at the beaches of the world. <laughs> You know, I, I forgot that childhood story. I used to, I told you my parents were divorced. So we used to um, meet at the halfway point. And my mom drove an Acura Legend back then. It was the late 80s. And she would always pop in those Amway cassettes, cassette tapes, personal development tapes, saying, see you on the beaches of the world. And I still remember those moments as well. So, you know, we're all students. We're all trying to get that 1% better every single day. Uh, I love each and every one of you, Fabian. Thank you for inviting me. I hope Veronica as well. And um, it's just an honor to see you guys out there winning and touching people's lives along the way. Thanks again. And uh, yeah, then see you at the beaches of the world and hopefully soon at the next live event on stage somewhere. Can't wait. <laughs> if not, Thanks. we'll see you in Bora Bora again too, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. hundred <laughs> percent. I will Take not care. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. So, guys, that was Scott Lewis. Now I'm going to switch to German. 
So for those of you who understand German, please stay here uh, and everybody else can leave or can just listen how I'm speaking German and wrap that thing up. So thanks once again uh, for everybody tuning into the call. Um, recording is running and um, this one will go later into the groups. Thank you. So, ihr Lieben, kurze Zusammenfassung auf Deutsch jetzt hier an der Stelle für die, die nicht alles verstanden haben. Ähm, ich hatte die Möglichkeit, Scott heute einige Fragen zu stellen und äh, einige Fragen kamen auch aus der Organisation und äh, habe die ihm einfach mal so frech gestellt, wie sie waren. Und das Erste war, ähm, viele hatten gefragt, äh, Scott, erzähl doch mal ein bisschen was über, deinen, äh, über deine Kindheit. Wie ist das so gewesen, auf, auf, aufzuwachsen im Network Marketing? Und äh, Scott hat erzählt, dass er als Zehnjähriger ähm, bereits das erste Mal auf einer Veranstaltung war, und zwar damals bei Amway. Und äh, er und äh, seine Mutter Wendy, die ihr auch alle kennt, haben ganz weit oben gesessen. Und jetzt überleg mal ganz kurz, das ist so dieses Feeling, was ganz viele immer auf einer Veranstaltung haben. Ne? Du sitzt ganz oben und denkst so, ja, das ist schon Wahnsinn, die da vorne auf der Bühne, das wäre schon enorm, wenn ich das auch mal schaffen würde, aber ich weiß nicht, ob das hinhaut. So Und heute ähm, leiten, leitet die Familie ein Billion-Dollar-Brand im Network-Marketing. Wie verrückt ist das eigentlich? Ähm, dann hat er erzählt, wie er äh, alles durchlaufen hat, auch in der Company Jeunesse. Scott ist nicht eingestiegen und Wendy hat gesagt, hier, äh, du bist mein Sohn und du bist jetzt Chief, Very, Chief Visionary Officer, sondern Scott hat begonnen und hat jedes einzelne ähm, Apartment, Department durchlaufen, Apartment, <lacht> jedes einzelne Department durchlaufen, ja, war im Kundenservice, ja, hat Kundenanfragen entgegengenommen, war im Accounting, war in der Programmierung, also er kennt jede einzelne Abteilung, hat überall dort gearbeitet und von den Leuten gelernt. Und deswegen gibt es bei Jeunesse da auch eben so eine, so eine enge Verbindung, so eine gute Connection. Ähm, jetzt hat er zum Schluss noch erwähnt, dass äh, auf seiner, oder während seiner Kindheit, es lief immer Personal Development im, im, im Auto. Es liefen die alten Kassetten ja, von äh, den großen Jim Ron und Co. Äh, oder auch von Sig Ziglar, die einfach erzählt haben, hey, du kannst alles schaffen, du musst dran glauben. Und dann gab es diesen berühmten Satz am Schluss, wir sehen uns an den Stränden dieser Welt. Einer meiner Lieblingssätze wollte ich immer mal sagen zu jemandem, bei dem das wirklich so ist. Und ähm, ja, Scott äh, und, und ich und viele andere auch, Daniel Stefania, tausendprozentig, das weiß ich, Kelvin. Ja, ähm, wir lieben alle die Diamond-Reisen, wir lieben Bora Bora, aber wir freuen uns noch mehr drauf, wenn du das nächste Mal mit dabei bist. Und äh, einige haben es ja schon jetzt geschafft in die Qualifikation, die werden wir dann hoffentlich nächstes Jahr auf Bora Bora sehen und mitnehmen. Aber es werden noch viel, viel mehr und viele davon sind heute im Call und wissen es noch gar nicht. Wenn du dabei bist, mach mal eine Eins in den Chat. Ja, so, ähm, nächster Punkt, was ich ihn gefragt habe, so ist richtig, ganz genau, ich will mit, viele, viele Einsen und jetzt muss eigentlich jeder eine Eins machen, der hier im Business ist, weil wenn du nicht glaubst, dass du es schaffen kannst, ähm, dann bist du im falschen Business. Im Network Marketing, und ich sage es mal mit Daniels Worten, ja, Daniel hat mal äh, diesen Satz übernommen und seitdem ist es schon fast seiner geworden, muss ich sagen, und zwar dieser Satz, anything is possible in Network Marketing, ich liebe es, vor allem, wenn Daniel es sagt, weil er ist das Paradebeispiel dafür, äh, dass alles möglich ist. Ja? Ähm, nächster Punkt war ähm, Digitalisierung. Ich habe ihn gefragt, hey, äh, wie schaut das denn aus mit der Digitalisierung? Weil ich spreche immer mit anderen Unternehmen und ich höre ganz oft, äh, ja, du, bei uns läuft der Kundenservice nicht so richtig. Die haben jetzt gerade alle wegen Corona, sind nach Hause geschickt worden. Da ist keiner erreichbar, Lieferketten brechen ab und so weiter. Ich habe gesagt, bei Jeunesse, ich merke gar nichts. Alles läuft noch sauberer als jemals zuvor. Und äh, habe gefragt, Scott, warum ist das so? Und Scott hat erklärt, dass der Hintergrund der ist, dass Jeunesse schon lange vorbereitet war. Jeunesse ist eine digitalisierte Company. Er sagt, ich habe ganz oft CEOs von verschiedensten Unternehmen bei uns sitzen, die sich bewerben, ja, oder Executives, Entschuldigung, nicht CEOs, Executives, also Angestellte von, von anderen Network-Unternehmen, die sich da mal bewerben. Und er kennt natürlich viele Hintergrundgeschichten. Er sagt, viele andere große Firmen gucken zu Jeunesse und sagen, wie machen die das? Wie können die so digitalisiert sein und so fortschrittlich sein? Ich habe keine Ahnung, wie das funktioniert. Ne? Und hätten das auch gerne, was wir haben. Und Scott sagte, im Januar, wir haben das Ganze beobachtet, im Januar schon, als die ganze Thematik mit Corona in China losging, haben wir uns schon vorbereitet, so dass IT-Department nur auf den Knopf drücken musste und alles wird sofort verschoben auf nach Hause und die Leute können von zu Hause arbeiten. Er sagt, es läuft sauberer als jemals zuvor, obwohl die Leute nicht mal im Office sein müssen aktuell. Und ähm, der, der nächste Punkt war ganz klar, also war die Frage einfach, was glaubst du, wie, was ist der Impact, den wir jetzt hier haben können? Und Scott sagte ganz klar, pass auf, der Impact ist der, wenn dieses Team das jetzt schafft, Triple Diamond zu werden, diesen Monat, also diesen Monat zu bestätigen, dann seid ihr das erste Triple Diamond Team 
in der ganzen Region, in ganz Europa, in ganz Middle East. Und jetzt überleg mal, was das für ein Statement ist. Und nicht nur das Statement innerhalb von Jeunesse, sondern das Statement in der Network-Marketing-Welt oder noch weiter gedacht, das Statement in der, ich sag mal, normalen Welt. Dass Leute sehen, oh mein Gott, wir sitzen gerade alle im Lockdown, keiner weiß, wie es weitergeht. Und die Verrückten da in diesem Network-Marketing-Ding mit diesem Team Unity Global, die räumen gerade alles ab und da sprießen Erfolgsstories ohne Ende. Vielleicht sollte ich mir das auch mal anschauen. Ja, und aus der Perspektive, das mal von jemandem zu hören, der ein Million-Dollar-Brand als Chief Visionary Officer vertritt, ist schon sick, glaube ich. Ja, wenn ihr das gut findet, macht mir auch nochmal eine 2 in Chat rein. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob ihr noch da seid. Nicht, dass ich hier die ganze Zeit nur gegen die Wand rede. Ja. Ähm, super wichtiger Punkt. Und ich habe die Frage relativ am Anfang gestellt, war, und das ist mir aufgefallen, als ich die Fragen eben zusammengestellt habe und mir so ein bisschen notiert habe, Überlegt mal, wann Jeunesse geboren ist, wann Jeunesse gegründet wurde. 2009, wer erinnert sich noch, wann die letzte Finanzkrise war? 2008. Das heißt, Jeunesse ist in der Krise geboren. Ja, Jeunesse wurde in der Krise gegründet und hat diese komplette erste Finanzkrise nicht nur überstanden, sondern jedes einzelne Jahr den Umsatz verdoppelt, verrückt genug, bis 2006 die erste Milliarde da war. Und seitdem konstant immer wieder über eine Milliarde Umsatz gemacht. Und dann habe ich gefragt, Scott, was habt ihr damals gemacht, als ihr in den Kinderschuhen standet? Wie sieht das jetzt aus, wo Jeunesse eine fertige Company ist? Wo die komplette Infrastruktur da ist? Und er sagte, ein einziges Wort, Sicherheit. Heute haben wir die Sicherheit, die wir geben können. Damals haben wir alle selber angefangen. Wir wussten nicht, schaffen wir das auf die Milliarde? Können wir die Milliarde Umsatz machen? Das hat sich entwickelt durch diese Gemeinsamkeit zwischen Vertriebspartner und Firma, dass wir alle diese, diese Idee gemeinsam aufbauen, dass wir die besten Leader haben, das ist gewachsen. Aber heute wollen wir vor allem eine Sache vermitteln und das ist Sicherheit. Dass in diesen unsicheren Zeiten, die jetzt gerade herrschen, die Leute wissen, es gibt was, was sicher ist, es gibt was, was stabil ist, es gibt was, was ähm, robust ist. Und das ist die Company Jeunesse jetzt gerade. Und viele, auch im Network Marketing, sagt er, haben gerade große Probleme. Es ist nicht so, dass jede Firma jetzt gerade top läuft und, und unwahrscheinlich wächst. Ja, auch dort gibt es viele Leute, die gerade strugglen und die auch auf der Suche nach einem neuen Zuhause sind. Ja, das habe ich jetzt mal zwischen den Zeilen gelesen und mal selber hinzugefügt, wenn das okay ist. Ja? Also nochmal an der Stelle heißt nicht, äh, rennt jetzt äh, auf jeden zu und äh, versucht, die Leute abzuwerben. Aber guckt mal, äh, ob ihr den einen oder anderen kennt, der vielleicht nicht happy ist, weil seine Firma nicht mehr läuft weil Auszahlungen nicht mehr passen, weil Lieferketten abbrechen und der einfach sagt, hey, ich suche, eine, suche einen sicheren Hafen, im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes. Und da ist Jeunesse ganz, ganz weit oben und ja, aktuell auch die Spitze, was diese ganze Digitalisierung und, äh, und so weiter angeht. So, was hatte ich mir noch aufgeschrieben? Ähm, so, genau, und zwar die wichtige Nachricht. Die wichtige Nachricht an uns alle. Am Schluss gesagt, hey Scott, ähm, einmal noch ganz kurz bitte die wichtige Nachricht an unsere Partner, die jetzt gerade arbeiten. Jeder arbeitet mehr als jemals zuvor. Habe ihm auch nochmal gedankt, ja, im Namen unserer Leader. Und äh, da schließe ich jetzt jeden hier in der Gruppe mit ein. Na, ich konnte natürlich jetzt, ich habe auch kein, bewusst keine Namen genannt, weil es so viele waren, die einfach gesagt haben, hey, danke für das, was wir haben. Ähm, und er sagte, ich möchte mich bedanken. In erster Linie möchte ich mich bedanken bei euch für das Vertrauen, für den Support, weil ohne euch wäre Jeunesse nicht da, wären wir nicht da, wo wir sind. So Und er ist unglaublich stolz auf jeden Einzelnen, der jetzt gerade Gas gibt und sagt, pass auf, jetzt ist die Zeit, jetzt ist genau die Zeit, wo du in den nächsten 90 bis 100 Tagen dein komplettes Leben verändern kannst. Weil das, was du jetzt machst, definiert, was danach passiert. Das definiert, wie sich dein Leben entwickelt. Das definiert, wie sich dein Business entwickelt. Das definiert im Prinzip alles. Weil es geht immer darum, wie reagierst du, wenn es nicht einfach ist. Und ihr kennt den Satz von, von Warren Buffett, du musst antizyklisch arbeiten. Haben wir oft drüber gesprochen in unseren Calls, in unseren Run-Calls, in unseren Trainings. Jetzt schlafen alle, ja, aber der Leader arbeitet und wächst, wenn alle anderen schlafen. Jetzt ist der Zeitpunkt und ihr seht, dass jeder zum Support da ist. Du brauchst Hilfe, ruf deine Upline an, du brauchst Dreier-Calls. Schreib mir, schreib Daniel, schreib deinen Sapphires, deinen Rubis. Jeder ist gerade dafür da, dir zu helfen. Du musst nur den Schritt machen, nach vorne gehen und sagen, I am ready. Ja, let's do this. Ich bin bereit. Lass uns nach vorne gehen. Ich will das machen und ich nutze diese 90 Tage, weil hier ist die Wahrheit. Und das füge ich jetzt hinzu. Das hat Scott nicht gesagt. Hier ist die Wahrheit. Stell dir mal Folgendes vor. Das alles passiert genau so. Wir machen diesen Monat den Triple Diamond. Nächsten Monat werden neue Diamonds geehrt. 
hier im Team Unity Global neue Rubies, neue Sapphire Elites, neue Sapphire 25, Leute, die im Prinzip in die Voll Vollzeit-Network-Marketing gehen können. Und du siehst das alles und du warst derjenige, der gesagt hat, ich warte noch ein bisschen. Wie fühlt sich das an? Und das ist dieses Ding, was mich antreibt, wo ich denke, das ist die größte Chance des Jahrhunderts jetzt gerade. Einfach mal, guck mal, du hast nichts zu verlieren, du hast nur zu gewinnen. 90 Tage, einmal all out massive action für dich. Wirklich für dich, für deine Familie. Und dann natürlich auch fürs Team, was dich dabei unterstützt. Wir können alles verändern. Wir können so viele Menschenleben verändern und mitnehmen, die es heute noch gar nicht wissen. Und darauf freue ich mich besonders. Also Jungs und Mädels. Ich sage immer Jungs. Hallo Jungs und Mädels. Also. Und diverse, muss man heute ja auch sagen. So, hallo Jungs, Mädels und diverse. So. Ich wünsche euch einen super schönen Abend. Lass uns wirklich rocken. Lass uns die nächsten Tage wieder das Tempo nach oben fahren. Wir haben noch viel vor. Der Run beginnt gerade erst. Wir sind im ersten Monat. Danach geht es noch zwei Monate weiter. Für die, die es wirklich ernst meinen. Und glaube mir, glaube uns, wir haben alle unsere Karriere mit einem Run gestartet. Danian, ich habe ihn gestartet. Küffi hat ihn gestartet. Taylor hat ihn gestartet. Jeder von uns hat seine Karriere mit einem Run gestartet. Es ist deine Chance jetzt, wo du jetzt da oben sitzt und quasi auf die Bühne guckst, auch virtuell und sagst, noch bin ich hier. Kann ich da hinkommen? Die Antwort ist ganz einfach, ja. Ich habe hinten gesessen, Danian hat hinten gesessen, Scott Lewis und Wendy Lewis haben hinten gesessen und wir sind jetzt alle vorne und wir freuen uns, dich vorne zu sehen. Also, let's do this. Wir sehen uns und morgen 22.02 Uhr, wie immer, der Run Call und 20 Uhr die Präsentation. Also, let's do this und wie Andreas gerade sagt, vorne ist immer Platz. Einen schönen Abend.